this is our next episode with our Pontiac 455 heads. My name is Joe and I'm here with more lousy drawings for you to look at. Uh, so today we're talking seats, um, exhaust seats. So back in the day, um, this head being early 70s, whatever, uh, gasoline was much different back then. Uh, had lead in it and the uh, octane was higher and because of that um, you didn't need a very hard seat for the exhaust. Uh, with today's fuel, the unleaded uh, 87 to 93 octane fuel, uh, it is absolutely a requirement to have a hardened seat um, put in. If you can imagine, this is a chamber for a cylinder head. Intake valve, exhaust valve. So, what, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to replace the seat. The seat is just there as cast with the head and then machined. Sort of like the same situation as the guide in the previous video. Uh, it's not an actual insert that can be removed. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut the material out around the seat that's there. And then once that's removed, we measure this diameter there. Uh, we decide what our press fit is going to be. Our valve seat insert looks just like a, a ring and that gets pressed into place but our valve seat insert is made out of a much harder material. So at the end of the day that gets pressed in uh, to where the old seat was and now the material around that we're going to machine on to cut our actual exhaust valve seat is now being cut on the hard material, not the soft cast iron that was there previously. What happens if you don't do this and you run today's regular gasoline? Uh, the valve will beat into the head and it, it will literally beat the seat into the head um, and, the, and the actual valve will keep coming up until it eventually stops sealing altogether. And that's not good. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll re relieve you from my horrible drawings. New guides machined and installed and uh, diamond hung to fit. And uh, next step is to install hardened exhaust seats. This is our exhaust seat insert. And what we do is we go in, machine out the old cast iron and the new seat gets pressed in. After installed it, we left cut in our three angle We've got our guides machined and installed. Uh, next we're going to go in and we're going to machine out the cast iron for our new hardened valve seat insert. We've got a 90 degree carbide cutter. We're going to go down the depth of the new seat and less than the diameter, the OD of the, the new uh, insert. Once we get a rough cut, we'll slowly move outward until we have the press fit that we're looking for before we drive this guy in. So our pilot, as usual, tool holder, carbide cutter. And the is gonna do the rest. Right now we're measuring the hole we just cut. Um, I already know it's small, too small. I mean, it's supposed to be small, but it's way too small. But I want to know exactly what the diameter is of it so I know how to adjust from here.
I'm doing here is moving the, the tool out to increase uh, the diameter of the cut, but I, I only need to go just a little bit, and I only want to come out a couple thousandths. And our dial indicator is going to tell us exactly how much we're moving this out. And that's right about a little less than two, and we're going to try that, and it's probably not going to be enough, but we can always remove more, we can't put it back. So these guys are both spring-loaded. This is a telescoping gauge. These are both spring-loaded. This is a brake here to stop it. Basically what you're trying to do is get the ID of this machined hole we cut. And then we're actually going to measure this with the set of micrometers. This is all about feel. right there. So now we've got um, our seats machined out um, to the exact diameter that we want to achieve um, the proper press fit. Uh, for our new uh, valve seat inserts. There's two sides to these inserts. One has a chamfer on the OD, one has a chamfer on the ID. Chamfer on the ID is the top where your seat cut's going to be. Chamfer on the OD is the, is the side that goes into the head first. The process of installing these is actually pretty simple. Um, we have a tapered pilot. We have a collar that goes over the tapered pilot, the end of it. Our seat insert that we're going to install. Our guide here that uh, the OD of this is really close to the ID of uh, the center of this guy here. This centers up our seat so it's perpendicular with the guide, which is the way it's supposed to be. This groove here, the over here fits over that. Seat gets pressed in. Gets pressed in until it bottoms out against the shoulder down here. And that's it. Okay, we got our seats machined and installed in our head. Um, we're going to rough in our three angles. Um, top cut, our seat cut, and the bottom cut simultaneously. Um, we can do that with our tool here. It has all three and it will do them all at the same time. Um, I want to go in and just do a rough cut and see where we're at. Chances are we're going to have to go back and, and do a inside, another inside cut, a steeper one, to bring the inside, um, the ID of the guide or the seat that we just put in out. Um, so we won't really know where we're at until we, we do it. So uh, here we go. A lot of times when you're machining a new <coughs> valve seat, the bottom cut will be removing so much material on its own that uh, it can cause the tool to chatter. Um, and when that happens, uh, we correct that by uh, taking an individual bottom cut, usually 70 degrees, and remove that material first, and then we'll come back with the three angle cutter and do it again. And there'll be less load on the tool, it's less likely to chatter.
we're doing now is uh, we're doing an inside 70 degree cut uh, to open up the ID of the seat that we just installed a little bit. Um, a little bit extra material there that we don't need. Um, and it'll help um, our seat cut on the final pass when we go to just touch it by reducing the amount of material that it has to remove. And uh, that material being removed in the first place is going to help with uh, flow just a little bit. So um, not 100% necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so now we're, uh, we've just done our 70 degree inside cut. Um, that turned out nice. Uh, we're just going to go back. I just sharpened the, uh, the tool. Um, we're going to go through and, and we're just going to reestablish those three cuts that we roughed in earlier. Um, this isn't going to be a lot. Just basically come in, touch it. When I see it, clean up, get off of it, and we're good to go. After this, we're 100% done with our um, valve job and seat installation on the exhaust side. After this, we'll tackle the intakes and then do the other head. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a little bit more in-depth then machining out the old guides is a very critical step in that operation. The ID of that hole that you machine, when machining out the old that's as cast into the head, uh, that is very critical because that's what's going to give you your press fit for the new insert. And uh, if, you, if you go a little bit too big, like I said in the video, uh, you can always remove more material, material, but you can't put it back. So if you overshoot it, it's a real pain. You've got to get a larger seat, turn it down on the lathe. That's, that's a very important part. And uh, if you don't have enough press fit, the seat can fall out, and that's a very bad thing to have happen, as you can probably imagine. So uh, th that's a very important job. Um, and it's easy to screw up, and it's uh, very important that you don't screw it up. Uh, the seat cutting I thought looked cool on the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I uh, had anticipated, uh, the, the cutter was taking a lot of material out on the bottom cut. We had to go back with the 70 degree and open up the bottom of the, uh, the inside of the, of the seat a little bit more, which ended up being a good thing. That provides more flow and uh, lessen the load on the, on the cutter. So uh, the the valve job turned out really nice. We didn't include the um, intake valve cutting, but uh, it was the same, you know, same principle, and that turned out very well uh, as well. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a like or dislike, comment. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say, and uh, don't forget to su subscribe either.